Okay, everyone. Let's think about why God has chosen the Bible, not anything else. Like a scroll. He hasn't chosen any scroll except from a Bible. And think about the end. In the end, what it, do, you, do you know what will happen at the end and the start? We are going to be le- learning about what is happening at the end and what happened at the first. And why there's a, a evil darkness upon us right now, today. Okay, let's um, see, let's pray. Oh Lord, thank you for being with us. Thank you for letting anyone who's with us to be happy. Thank you for letting those people know that this is a really good one. Thank you for choosing loads of people to be with you. Thank you for never letting us down. Thank you for like helping us not doing anything in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we will never let you down like you never let us down. The reason why you're with us It's because you loved us. You never let us down. You kept on being with us. Even though anything bad happens, you're still with us. Because we remember about Job, about what has Job done to us. Job is the one that encouraged and interpreted me to do this message. That when Job was... That when Job was with us, he was the one we were listening to. He was with you. He was, he, like Job. Job is a great man. Everyone in the Bible is a great man and a great woman. Everyone's great. But we need to overcome the darkness. In the, in the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. We pray, amen. Let's think about what has actually happened with Job. You will know what Job has done. Let's go to Job. Chapter um, 1 to chapter... Chapter 1 to the, read the whole chapter of Job. When you've finished Job, think about what has happened in that chapter. Because it is a really, really helpful message. Now, that we, we might have to go through... Chapter 1. Now let's read. There was a man in the land of Uz, who, whose name was Job, and that man who was perfect and upright and one that feared God and eschewed evil. And there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. His substance also was seven thousand sheep and three thousand camels and five hundred yoke of oxen. And five hundred she axes, asses, and a very great household, so that this man was great, the greatest of all the men of the east. And his sons went and feasted in their houses every one his day, and sent and called for their three sisters to eat and drink with them, and eat and to drink with them. And it was so, when the days of their feasting were gone about, that Job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that, thy, that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts, hearts. Thus did Job continually. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to, to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and through in the he- earth and from walking up and down it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright and an upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil? Then Satan saith, answered the Lord and saith, Doeth Job fear God for not? Hast not thou made an hinge about him, and about his house, and all about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. But put, but put forth thine hand now, and touch all that he hath, and he, he will curse thy, thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, 
all that he hath is in thy power. Only upon himself put not th- not forth thine hands. So Satan went from the presence of the Lord. And there was a day when his sons and sons and, da- and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And there came a messenger up unto Job and said, The ox was, oxen were ploughing and uh, asses feeding beside them, and Sabines fell upon them and took them away. Ye, they have, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I am only one um, escaped and alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came another, also another, and said, The fire of God is fallen of from heaven for and hath burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them and i only am escaped and alone to tell thee while he was yet speaking the came there came also another and said the chaldeans made out three bands and fell up upon the camels and have carried them away ye and slain the servants with the edge of the sword and I am um, I only am escaped alone to tell thee while he was sp- yet speaking there came another also another and said thy sons and thy daughters were eating and his and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house, and it fell upon the young men, and they are dead. That And I, I only am escaped alone to tell thee. Then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshipped and said, Naked come I came I out of my mother's womb and naked shall I give shall I return thither uh, Lord gave and the Lord hath taken away blessed be the name of the Lord in all this job sinned not nor charged God foolishly This is what I'm telling you. See, do you know what this means? This means that God still, even though the Lord, um, Satan still um, made him to get evil, still Job still praised the Lord, even though it happens. That's why God is with you. That's why he wants everyone to be like this, to be happy and not sad anywhere or any education places or anywhere. Okie dokie. Now, let's pray. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, thank you for being with us. Thank you for teaching all these people what this is meaning and what this is about and why God has choose, chose you and why God has happened to love you, not anyone else that is with you. For Lord loves anyone who comes in his path and says, Oh, Lord, forgive me. And God will take him from there and give him the happiness of his life. The miracle will be with them. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen. Let me tell you a thing. that In the last coming, God is never going to leave you. He's going to take every single person that believes in him and takes them. They shall not perish except from those that are evil and do not obey the Bible when it, when they read it. They read it like a story Bible, like a story, but it's actually a real life thing. They laugh at it, saying that it's fake and everything magicians and fake stuff. But no, this is the real one that's going to happen. Let's read Matthew for our last chapter. Let's read Matthew chapter... Um, let's go to it. Uh... This is not a joke. God is with us whenever we need him. Because this, God never left anyone who wanted to destroy him. Loads of people kept coming after him and saying, what shall we do? There's nothing to do. But then, everyone was sad and not happy with what's going to happen. These will happen any time that you will never know. 
because these are the true things. And the, let's read ch chapter 25, verse 41. Then shall he say unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. That means that everyone that's evils with devil, with the devil of Satan, will always go, will go into the everlasting fire. Fire. It won't be burning. It will be burning so much, but you won't die. That's how the fire of the Lord is prepared. As you think right now, you're thinking that it's just fake, like a hole in the world. But actually, this will happen for real. None of you know what is happening because you are blind from what God has said. He said, whoever believes in him shall see a miracle. Whoever does not believe in him shall not see a miracle because they are blind exactly at that spot. He's done everything for you. He's even died for you on the cross. He didn't just die on the cross because he did because he gave up. He died on the cross to forgive all the sins you have done, even today. And he knows that you're still gonna praise him. Whenever God's happy, he will do something for you. It's because when he was he, if he's king, and how are you? If he's no what? If he's not real. For you, then how is he over here right now with us? Like over here? Huh? How is he here? Do you know that? Do you know why the, why there's a lot of things happening right now? How are you alive right now? How am I alive? How am I speaking? Huh? We shouldn't we would have never been alive if God was with us. If God was if God was alive, we would be alive. If God's no more, if God's nothing, there was no God in this world, then you would never be alive. Jesus is the only way through him. Through him to go for his father. He didn't just die and die somewhere like going, uh, you, you can all, um, uh, if he was not real, then you would have um, uh, not be real too. Without him, you will be nothing. With him, you can do, you can see all miracles through him. He was hungry. He was thirsty. 40 days. And Satan tempted him for those days and kept on saying, praise me. He kept on saying, Get, look, and I'll, I'll give you these millions of buildings, if all these gold buildings, if you praise me. And God answered him back and said, Satan, get out of this world. You have tempted me. Only God will see the evilness in you. You are evil and never live again. That's the end coming. Do you think this is just the story? I'm just saying this to um, uh, make you happy when you're sad right now. Actually, he's just waiting everywhere, looking at you right now. You're thinking, how is he looking? Ev he's looking at everyone, everyone on this earth. Do you know how? You think, that? God, how can he look at the whole world? Because he, he, and you're saying, does he have like millions of eyes? No, he has one eye, and that eye is the Son of God. He is the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the God, the King. He shall be the only one with you. you the reason why you're alive right now is because he is alive. If he was no, if you think he's nothing, and that is just fake, and how are you alive right now? How are you um, coming out of your uh, mother's womb? Is it because you just um, uh, uh, became out of nowhere? Like you were made from something? Loads of people think the scientists were the ones who created us. No, that's just fake. They came today. How can they come years after, before this happened? There's tech everything in this world. That's why we should never be in this techno world let me tell you a thing if you're playing games in your house just playing them you'll be like addicted to it just like old man addicted to alcohol you anything you have the blood inside you is the blood of god that's why you're right now alive if you're the blood of the devil you would be going out there and um slapping those people and then killing them God made you alive, even though you're mean, 
And you're so mean and you don't know any you don't you're just being a thief and that. You're stealing. That God made you alive because he believed in you. Satan is trying to control you to take him into his world and take him better. No. Fight Satan wherever he is. Praise to the Lord wherever he is. Because today's message is... This is the end of the today's message. Now let's... Let's uh, praise about the Lord. This is how God wanted us. Okay. Stay, stay watching. And keep on watching these videos. Share these to anyone that is unhelpful and unscared and like very angry and that. Share this video to them. Like this video and help those people that are suffering for food. And those people are... Re Next video is about the all those people, all your parents that are suffering right now without you. That's the next video. Amen. And God bless you.